new this dot style property so previously so this is the very most important feature if you are working on the you know api version the old version and this dot children first of array and the parent element dot style for the lightning dog and this dot template dot host dot style for the shadow dome as you know very well lightning dome shadow dome right shadow dome always you know work with the encapsulate your you know styling but lightning dot is a normal dome right so with the 62.0 is this dot style simplifies this process so how we can see these things very easy and very useful you know so how we can leverage this feature and this is the new way to use these things so let me open my vs code so here this is my VS code. Let me close it. This one. And make some changes here. Let me create new component. I mean component name. It can be like a style. Or a style. Demo. Something like that. So this is my component. Under this component. Uh, previously it was an issue about. Uh, not issue. It's just uh, it's a kind of you know long name. But I don't want to use my long name. It's a simplified version. I can use it. So how we can use the simplified version? Very useful and very easy way we can use this. So this is another feature like a set style. Right. So I have created the set style method under the set style. This is the old way to set the property. But uh, in this release, I will tell you uh, the new way. So how we can use that? The new way. Let me tell you here. This uh, log under here. We can use like uh, to differentiate which one is old and which one is new, right? So now uh, is a new way. So how we can use that? Let me tell you like new way. Okay, new way. The Salesforce simplified this dot template dot style or this dot template dot host to this dot style. Okay, so Salesforce already simplified this property. So you can use like this dot this dot style directly like this dot style okay style dot set property color blue something like that this is the new way and very simplified way right after that you can uh, you know debug it based on your need let me save this deploy to org and let's see the way and i hope you you will be get an idea about this new way so this is the old way this is the new way and the uh, Salesforce already removed this dot template dot host to this. That's why you can see, right? You can see this one, this here. Like this is totally convert to the this dot template dot host and then style and this property here, right? So this is the new way. So let me check this one is working or not. Let me refresh this one. And now here, just clear, clear everything. Click on this button. Now immediately you can see. Red is coming from old one, blue is coming from new one. Here you can see. Okay, so this is how you can set this all you know uh, new features like a new this dot style property. I hope you got the answer right, and you can implement this simplified version. And that's that's an easy way to use it, right? So now let me tell you the next feature is. So this is the new feature, and this is the next feature is new this dot host element property so in lwc api version 62.0 and later you can access the parent element using this dot host element in a render callback or in another callback like any lifecycle hooks as you have in your you know lwc and it's a very convenient syntax for this dot template dot host so it's totally you know simplified like this dot template dot host to the uh, this dot host element and in shadow dom that now works with the lightning dom too okay so how we can use that very simple and very easy way let me tell you the first you know old way and new way okay so it's easy to understand these all things so let me create the new component let me open my vs so under the vs code let me close these whole features right let me create new component and let's say like a child something like that and now you can see our component is created successfully. Let me tell you the old way, new way. So you can easily understand what, uh, what will be the changes or what is the changes right now. Okay. So let's say old way. So this is the old way. Uh, I'm going to tell you how we can use the old way and new way. Okay. 
So first of all, you have to do one in the console. I'm just using like console. So it's easy to, you know, track these all things. So console.log under this console.log, right? I can use like this dot template, template, right? Uh, let's say it's a template, a template dot host. As you already know these things, right? This dot template dot host. Okay. So this is the first way to use it. And uh, you cannot use directly this component, right? So you have to use your render callback. So I can use like a render callback here. Inside this render callback, I can move my code. Let me cut this code. And uh, paste inside this render callback. So this is the old way to get the host, right? And uh, another way like uh, console.log under here, this dot template dot host host dot like a tag name i want to check the tag name right so here you can see this is the old uh, way new way is uh, let me add the new way before that let me differentiate this one and uh, let me add the new way how we can use this new way so console dot log under this one console dot log right so salesforce already simplified this one that is this dot template dot host right so this dot template dot host is totally simplified to the this dot host element okay so how we can use that so let me tell you here this dot host element okay and another one this dot host dot tag name so it's a very simplified you can easily understand these all things here you can see this all right and everything is simplified to the new way here you can see right now i will tell you how we can use this so let me open my you know xml file make it as true okay make it as true and make it like target target config let me deploy this component okay once you deploy it so i'm not using local dev why because every time we have to create new process like again we have to restart our server something like that so for your better understanding that's why uh, i'm just deploying to directly source to org okay you can use it local dev it's always working i already tested okay so don't worry okay so now let me add that component here click on this edit page under this edit page just close this one and make it some large here and a child one right so i can add here a child save this save this i have some problem just save this go back so here tag name it's getting error in the tag name why because this one new way always work with api please observe so let me comment out here this piece of code and let's see this error is exist or not right now i'm using 61 you can change it 62 i will change it right now so let me check with first this 61 one okay so let me refresh this and now uh here okay in the console let me inspect it and now you can see this is the old way to check that's why you can see tag name and the c child it means our old code is executed new code will not be executed why because it will always work with the help of this api like 60 so let me change into the 62 this one 61 to 62 let me save this and deploy it okay so once you deploy it definitely it will be work in both scenarios like old one as well as new one let me refresh it and now you can see here here just a second oh i forget it to you know uncomment this one so <laughs> let me uncomment this code let me deploy it and once you deploy it now again you have to uh, refresh this one once you refresh it then you can see two times of output please observe please observe this is coming from you know old one this one this piece of line of code is executed here and this this is the new one 
and it is coming from this area here you can see and it is working for the 62.0 api you can see these all right so this is how you can implement this new features